Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. Yes! <laughs> this is the greatest thing of podcasting ever! Now we're warmed up! Now we're ready to go! Oh my god, no! I gotta Damn. do that all over again. No. We got, talk. we got different shit to talk oh, we about. We do. Anyways. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome to Yes Offense. Right. Wow. That was how much into oh, it was so it? so unprofessional. We were fired up. Yeah, oh, that, was good, that was a good 20 no, minutes. That was a good 20 <laughs> minutes. That's cool. We was heating. We was heating. Hold on. And I wanted to start off the podcast. Yeah, do, yeah, do, do it up. <laughs> Hold on. No. Yo. God damn it. So unprofessional. It's not, now it's just not. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating dick right now, everybody. Uh, welcome to Yes Offense. Super unprofessional of me. Uh, for you who are listening, um, I just hit enter after realizing I didn't hit record on a fucking podcast for 20 minutes. So now my guests and I are all sitting here. A little flustered and sweaty. I think we could just hit all the same beats. Yeah, yeah we started, I started off how we were going. Right. But anyway, welcome to Yes Offense. Let's get it started as a better song. Than <laughs> just a much no. better. Let's get retarded is the best song. No, I can't, I mean, dude. You're a liar, dude. You're a liar, stuff. Yeah, I. Every, every, all right, that's. I've been bumping yes that song cool. all week, all week. <laughs> I was driving that around all week. God damn it, all the yeah. people is. Look, guys, we fucked up. All right, we started record. I thought we started we recording. Up. Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm late. I had to take a piss. No. I anyway. Mean Steph Curry with the rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, we had such a flow too. Fuck. Welcome to Yes Offense, guys. My name is Alex Tomaselli. Uh, fucked up. I fucked up, and I didn't hit record on the podcast, so we didn't record 20 minutes of. It was really good, it seemed. We were really flowing, and now... How are we going to replace that? <laughs> replace everything we just did. Damn. I mean, God if it damn. makes you feel better, like I'll, I just go off when people hand me a microphone. No, I'll fine. just say shit, so I, like, it, fine. It, yeah. it doesn't bother me either way. No, I, I, I basically completely forgot w most of what we had talked about. Yeah. Anyway, Can I mention the cool part that you have the ultimate white and black people living together? <laughs> Yeah, the Aesthetic ultimate, the, ul the ultimate, uh, what's what's decor? Because you have the Godfather on one side of you, a two pack on the other, and one that you both can agree on, Spider Man. And then, the <laughs> yeah, you know what's the craziest thing? Yeah. It's like all of this shit sells. It's all, all sellies, man. It's all. <laughs> So this is all your artwork? I love it. <laughs> this I is a cool apartment. I yeah. love the random curtain just on the wall that's just like flowers and yeah, shit. Yeah, this is like... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah dude. We got a... We got Everything else we got. sellies except for that Yee Claw yeah, dude, poster they, over yeah, there. Yeah, who brought that in the <laughs> Who brought the yeah. Yee Claw? So there's this Yee Claw for anyone. This is an audio podcast, but there's a Yee Claw tapestry <laughs> in our apartment, and it's just a can of uh, White Claw with a cowboy hat on it that says Yee Claw next to it. And our 27 year old Indian roommate got that so he could woo white women when I, they come. I would have never thought that came from the Indian. <laughs> Honestly, it it's does. been working for him. It Ooh. does, dude. He, yeah, he has sex with a lot of them. The, All right. the white women, like a lot, a lot of white women, or a yeah. lot of like. Claws in hats. Yes, <laughs> that too. And then when they leave, he yells at them. Yo, you're a fucking retard. And that's that's how we do this. <laughs> God damn, this is so sad. No, no, no. Yo, don't so listen, let's bring it back. Bring yeah, it back. So listen, no fucking. We got guests today. <laughs> so let's do this all over again. All over. We got fucking returning guest Mustafa Musa. And then we got. Legend Johnny Benson. Legend of what? <laughs> <laughs> and we got my man Jake Bentley coming up in here. I, I feel like this is the second time I've been on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is feeling up, so deja vu. I, yeah, oh, I, I feel That's like right. I'm a veteran That's of right. this podcast now, Love and I'm, I'm for it. I'm here. 
I'm sorry, you guys. That's so... F- I, I can't believe I missed that. You know what it was? Because we went through all the drops before, and I was so excited showing you them. And I was I, excited I was to see it, because I'm a listener. I listen to every one of your shows. <laughs> I listen to the good ones and the ones with Cliff Mooley. <laughs> God damn it. You switched it up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, Cliffy. Cliffy, don't surf, baby. Shout out to Cliff Mooley. Love dude. Cliff. the dude. Love those guys. Those con- awesome. The most um, returning guest on this podcast. It's my guy. He's a, he's I love a good guy. Good guy. Hell yeah, dude. You um, even live with people you don't let on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I do. I've been on the show. Good thing I had, had an extra mic in the car. That's why we have Stoffy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I didn't yes. expect. I, well, Stoff, and I, we, we're men. We live together. We don't check each other's schedules. So mm-hmm. I just, if Stoff's around, he's around. You can get yeah. on. If Ish was here, oh, I'd, oh. I'd love for him to be we on four mics. Maybe he'll show up. Yeah. Maybe, doubt it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Him in the claw poster can get in on. <laughs> he just comes in with a white girl. He's like, "Look at this poster," and then he's this like, is "No." Sh- <laughs> Ish came into the apartment. That's how the claw poster came in. He was butt naked, just draped with the claw poster, <laughs> and just walked in like that one day. And I was like, "Oh, wild night!" And anyway, just hung it up, walked in his room. Guys, if you're out there listening. Go look up Doofy Ish on Instagram and just DM him like ye claw shit all day. And then there you yeah. go. That's how he'll know. And he'll get like no none of those DMs. It's fine. No, who, it's good it's who made like the grocery bag bats that are sitting there? Uh, Trisha D'Onofrio at an old show. Trisha uh, D'Onofrio, <laughs> the tasty chick. <laughs> Okay, Johnny. <laughs> Is that who we're talking about? Uh, shout out to Trisha. I love, love Trisha. Trisha. Yeah, I love Trisha. That's why. I, that's why I'm doing her voice. <laughs> <laughs> she made something like that. <laughs> Can I tell you the same th- podcast with different people? I have. <laughs> yo, yo, and I, I don't give a fuck. I have a tr- Trisha D'Onofrio gave me the worst fucking slap in the face one day. Uh, real slap? Uh, and I will say it right here on the she Yes She slapped offense. you in the face? No, with For, verbal slap. Oh, what'd she say verbal. to you? Because when she was doing those shows with the, with the cupcakes and all the comics and all that, right? I was like, <laughs> and I see like Rob Rigo's on her show. It's mostly girl shows, but some, Rob, some, of, some of the guys. I like Rob Rigo. I like, some of the guys are on. So Shout I'm like, oh, I, 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 I'll, I'll throw Trisha Bone. I'll be like, hey, let me get on a show. Hey, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a spot if you want, want me to be on a show. She says, wow, Johnny. We have very limited spots for men, and you'd be the last on the list of, of male comics we'd have on here. <laughs> Thanks, Trisha. <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. Shout out to Trisha. Thank you. Gave it to you real. She bro. did it. That's that's right. That was at the treehouse at Randall's in West Haven. <laughs> if, if it makes you feel better, she thought I was the bartender at Elbow Room. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha's my. You kind of look like the chick with the dreads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you got them thick thighs, man. I don't. I don't know if that's an insult to me. No, or it just her. means you got big legs <laughs> and you mean uh, business. <laughs> anyway, Trisha made those bats. Thank you, wall. Trisha, for the wonderful bats. <laughs> they rule. Shout out to Trisha D'Onofrio. Um, yeah, I have uh, nothing bad to say about Trisha. <laughs> I, did I say anything bad? No, 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 no. I just. Told it like it was. I'm just no. I'm just doing Real it. Real talk. For, yeah, all. I'm just doing it. Hell for, yeah, that's um, what it's all about. Yeah, I, I just don't want someone else to write another fucking hard times article about us at this point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, enough inside talk. This nonsense. How you guys fucking doing? Today? We're good, man. We do. You watch any good documentaries lately? <laughs> I I almost did. God I, damn it! I, I saw him. I think he was watching something a little earlier. You watch HB, Do you have HBO Max? Yes, I can't afford that yes, shit. So. I do. Well, no. Again, I'll give you my love. Shout out, shout out to Ish Gupta. Ish. All right. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you're a fucking retard. Yeah, thanks, thanks, dude. You didn't have to. Anyway, Ish Gupta. Um, yeah. So I watched HBO. We watched fucking Woodstock '99. Just for fu- I just threw it on because you told me to, and you're like, yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. hilarious. And yeah, I didn't like. I don't know. I. We are goddamn. It's so weird doing this again. Fucking that documentary didn't. It did a shitty job of trying to bitch about you know the event as a whole because I I don't know. It just tried to blame everything on fucking white. What I remember shit. about the event was the big deal was things were overpriced and people got mad and they lit shit on fire. Oh yeah. Now did. this documentary made it look like all white guys are evil. If you're a white guy with a backwards <laughs> hat, you're the devil and you're doing a disjustice to society. What do you feel about it, Stapa? Uh, you know what? I feel like it's not hard to make white people look evil. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, you don't gotta go through so much effort and find it under Woodstock '99. If a white guy's listening to Limp Biscuit, his life sucks. Yeah, yeah dude. He's I, not I, the like... white guy running the banks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
He's not the what? He's yeah, not the man. employer. Well, like, that, and that's the thing too. They just like went out of their way to try and like make shit up. They're like, look how terrible they are. They yeah. screamed the N word exactly when DMX prompted them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, dude. I, 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 fucking, they show a scene where they're like, "What do you think these?" Uh, Black concert goers were thinking, and they show literally pictures of them the, like the two jumping, guys that were there, right? Jumping around, <laughs> having fun. Yeah, but they, and they show video <laughs> of them giving having their high fun. fives to their white friends, and then they're like, "See, I told you the end card was a yeah. thing." Sally, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to be at the Limp Biscuit concert in Wallingford on Thursday. I will yeah. give you an exact number of how many black guys. Are there. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no. I will count. Well, and I'll let yeah, you know. That, again, that is <laughs> not all right. That is the new form of segregation: white people making <laughs> bad music. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all right, these niggas ain't gonna listen to them. they. Yeah, like, white people turn off that music as soon as the concert happens, and then just discuss finances. <laughs> That's where people learn how to do their taxes. <laughs> yeah, I just like I want to see the white people who go to Limp Bizkit concerts now. Just like, yeah, give me something to break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hip! Yeah, no, dude, it's a fucking. <laughs> It, dude, they it is you. about the he say, she yeah. say bullshit. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. All right, Corn, shut the fuck up. Let's talk about how we're going to run the polit- prison industrial <laughs> complex right now. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, no, it was just a weird. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't is really... Corn still a thing? Like, I, I know, like, the heck. they're coming to Hartford. I know, like, the, the guitar player just became, like, a really weird evangelical Christian. That, like, not even just, like, like an evangelical Christian, but, like, one of those, like, cracked out, like, weird ones who thinks he can bring dead people back to life. Oh, that's fire. That's yeah. Awesome. That's tight. That's how I mean, like, yo, if you're going to be born again Christian, come back. <laughs> like, imagine becoming a born again Christian to just be like, yeah, no, God's real, like, but, you know. Gays, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes no sense. <laughs> Go all the way, man. Yeah. You know, and think that, dinosaurs didn't exist. And you know, it, like it's so weird it, because, like, I I grew up in like an evangelical cult, and and I'm out of it. I'm on the other side of it now. Thank and, God. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me. Um, and it, like, it's so funny too because, like, I hear people now who are on like the more progressive side of Christianity try to like uh, like affirm homosexuality and stuff. And like, I'm all for that, but like. It, it, they're Middle Easterners from 6,000 years ago. Dudes were fucking homophobic. Like, yeah. there's no way to just, like, they're fucking homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't really believe this shit, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. The guys from 6,000 years ago totally thought that men and men, and men should fuck. They just, uh, they, they weren't very clear about it. No, no, they're homophobic. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. So old religious people. What the fuck in power? What do you, what do you think of in the documentary? The the, the chubby purple hair girl. <laughs> She's fucking. In, they literally only. There were certain people in this documentary who they only cut things of them saying like. And then there was just a white guy, and I'm like, really again? Yeah, just such, a white. It has to be the white guy. I, it's always a white guy. So right? I, I kind of had this it's weird experience. <laughs> Where, like, I was listening to half of them talk, and I was like, oh, fuck these bitches who were just like, oh, white guys. And, like, the, the guy who, like, ran everything came up. And I was like, okay, maybe maybe this is the guy who yeah. will, like, share my thing. And then he's like, the girls who got raped deserved it. I'm like, fuck <laughs> Dude, what? that's what I'm saying. What? This what? documentary is wild, dude. I can't wait. What? Yeah. 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 I miss that dude, he, they, he was... when they get to, that's the thing. The sexual assault part of this is awful. Like, yeah. these oh, people yeah, are yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to The Offspring, by the way, for sticking yes, up. Hell yeah. They're, they're, Cool ass dudes. The offspring? But the offspring during their performance went on stage and said, Yo, I see a lot of you dudes out there touching chicks when you're going on crowd surfing. That's fuck like don't yeah. do that shit. And if you're gonna and if a dude comes on, grab him by the balls. And it was like really it's just yeah. You know. I thought <laughs> like you quite literally met the offspring of <laughs> oh, the no, no. from the crowd. No, 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 the no, band. The band. Yeah, the band. no, no, you can't. Right, we gotta, we gotta screw with Mustafa on the uh, 90s rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. Yeah, listen to Radio 104 more often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, they uh the, the sexual assault part of this is not that part is, is not no no but nobody's for up. sexual assault no not at all <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. I, except for the runners of Woodstock they're yeah. there dude for it. the yeah. runner of Woodstock in this is like I'm not saying anyone should be sexually assaulted but the women out there running around naked all day it's like you can't ex- he's like it it didn't not have anything to do with it that's essentially what he said it's like and, and, you dude know, you're it's, what the fuck's wrong with and, you, and you know what else didn't you know help uh selling beer for less than you're selling water yeah. for yeah dude, oh. dude wow. that, that, this wow. is a fuck fu- yeah it's hilarious that's they, wild yeah, they're yeah. insane but that's a good time <laughs> <laughs> they invited if you went to a bar and they were selling beer for less yeah. than water you'd be like this is kind of tight 
They, well, except except they're not like discounting the beer; they're just oh. selling the water for that much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was assuming the beers were like. Oh a no, no, the, no, 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 <laughs> the beers. Yeah, the water was just more expensive than yeah. the beer. Okay, okay. Dude, they had, and this is the thing: they're trying to blame like society at the time. It's or the the, the some at some point they're saying the artists or white people in the crowd. It's a hundred percent this this venue's fault. They literally booked every what. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, when the guy put the application out for people signing up for the concert in the fine print, did he say, "Hey, do you consent to all sex at this <laughs> concert?" I doubt it. And then they check it off. They go to the concert. If he did that, you you work for this guy apparently, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or maybe no. you should because they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good lawyer, yeah. lawyer stuff. Imagine if that was actually in the application. That'd be insane. No, they. But I'm just saying, like they have every. Major, they had like what? It's literally corn, fucking Metallica, yeah, headlined by Limp Bizkit, Kid Re- Rock, a- yeah. a- Kid Rock, Cheryl Crow, DMX, DMX. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> three women, only three women, and they tried to. Even the guy who ran it was like, uh, wait, Cheryl just, Crow was on it. Yeah, Cheryl Crow, women. Alanis he? Morissette, maybe Jewel, 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 which, Jewel. Is fu- which is funny as fuck because they were like, you know what? You know who loves Alanis Morissette? The same people who love Limp Bizkit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just insane. Fire. Anyway, they put, I would have went to that concert. It looked like, like a Cheryl Crow. Uh, that lineup's crazy, right? What? It looked like a disaster. But the thing is, they they literally put everyone who's hot at that month of the year, yeah, and, and that the height of their careers, pretty much. Throw them in one place and then undersupply everybody with water, with s- supplies, yeah. everything. Like the, the, when they started rioting, that's when they said they got all the water. That the people finally had water, like for the oh, the rest yeah. of the day. That's insane. Yeah. Like once I heard that, I'm like this is uh, all the- this is bullshit. And everything they went into, dude, was complete horseshit on this. It was like if, if one person was like. Oh, it's all white dudes. It's like, oh, it, um, hold on. Let me let me look at my fucking well, that, notes. Sorry. I mean, that's Someone the thing. Off. You could you could put anybody in that situation, right? Like hundred degrees, no water. But they said it. They were like, imagine if like black people at the concert, no. what would happen? Yeah, so right. what they're saying is, yeah, we should just have shot these white. Like, dude, <laughs> if black people, obviously, at, if black people are at the concert, don't give a fuck either if they're burning shit, like. Who cares? It's a fun time. Well, no, I think I think they were saying that like if it was black people in 2020, like the police so, would have come and just wiped them all out. Not so, they wouldn't have treated yeah, them as well. That's not a fun time. So no, I want black people to be able to go to a concert, burn some stuff, fuck and that, have a blast. That's, that's, like, that's the thing, though. That's too. the equality I want. I don't want the black, like, yeah. the cops to just kill white people for the, burning shit at a concert. They I also burn shit at a concert. I want you to burn shit. <laughs> yeah, for this real. is America. I believe in. They also do shit in this though where they're they they take shit from that time and they try to use today's society's like rules yeah. for it which yeah. is so annoying when they're like they're literally saying like you just went over it fuck i, I just my brain is skipping right, yeah well the, none of the rules from none of, the, none of those rules were there back in the day you know yeah no it's, it's fuck oh god damn it it's the fucking oh uh, like if it was black people yeah, it, they're literally like, uh, I couldn't imagine if it was a black concert today. It's like, dude, it, yeah, it, the, the that black people wouldn't have been at the corn show. Not yeah, <laughs> not even that. It's not even that, dude. They're, they're I'm using going to a corn show now. I want to see what y'all plot. There's, they're literally using buzzwords and shit from yeah. this month and this year, and they're like, I can't believe this would happen. It's like, dude. It was at a time when people thought they, it's like Y2K and shit. Like some of the society shit they did put up was interesting, but then they're putting up like clips of Fight Club. How old like, were you at the time? Uh, this is '99. I'm f- f- uh, seven. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like it, like um, yeah, you I know, know I was, I was like three. You know, I was like 13, 14 at the time, and and they made I a was big like deal. Twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> they. <laughs> So they make a big deal about like the people screaming the N word at DMX when he prompted them. And like, like when I was 13, 14 years old, that wasn't a swear word like mm-hmm. it is today. Like yeah. I, I grew up, I, I moved all over the place cause my parents are fucking gypsies and we never lived <laughs> in any place longer than like six months. So like I went to school, high school and middle school in like Newington and New Britain. Newington was all fucking white kids who said the N word freely. And like when you were in New Britain, uh, like as long as you weren't wearing like Abercrombie and Fitch or fucking American Eagle, like you could get away with saying it too. <laughs> Yo, could I get the yearbook for your new <laughs> <Yeah>. you guys? <laughs> I hate so you guys. I, I, so so I anyone... call every single one of those kids bosses. Like, hey, do you employ Ross Mortensen? 
<laughs> I have some shit to tell you. You guys suck, dude. I hate you guys right now. So if anyone's listening and you're like, what the fuck is, is some of this nonsense? We're literally going over some of the shit we missed. Like, are, they, are you that really that so no, I include, no, I include. You just ruined a beautiful... <laughs> Because it seems I, I, so flawless. No, I know. No, no, they're just. I, are, yeah. are you worried that people are tuning in halfway through the podcast? No, 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 like no, they no. Clicked no. And they were just like skipping the. No, no, no. <laughs> I just no. I I'm just for my my stupid piece no, of mind. I, I know it doesn't matter. I know the feeling of not pressing record. It's the worst. <laughs> it's, it's it's a depression. I just got over it, and I'm still. Me it's and just Jake Valley like, are making the most out. Of That's it. No, you <laughs> those guys. I'm, not, I'm still having fun. We're actually rolling. We've done another 20 minutes. But I think so, about yeah. it. So this is actually great. We're 20 minutes in. Yeah. Again. Oh, so the black comments should be here any minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, oh, where's James T and Cliff Moya? Where you at? <laughs> Yo, Sully, stop editing in my laughs. <laughs> I'm not laughing at this racist <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Did I say something? Did I say something racist or something? Shout out to the brother. Was that racist or was it honest? He's black. Ow! <laughs> there it is. Yeah, my favorite thing I'm to do canceled. is call white people racist. That, <laughs> you, like, no one will take that away that from is, me. Well, that's what people do that aren't, that aren't white. They call white people <laughs> racist. It's the best. And, well, well, you don't do it as much as chubby white girls do, but because <laughs> there's no enemy of the white man as much as there is the chubby white girl. I, I, honestly, I, I know nothing about this. Look at the pur- look at the purple haired <laughs> lady in the documentary. She's just like, ow, ow, we're watching corn, and there were so many white people with backwards hats on. I'm like, what? What did you think yeah, you were? Man. You know, yeah, white not... woman's disloyalty is something else. Yeah, that's it. there. And where do you think you're at? A Wu Tang concert? Oh wait, never mind. It'd be the same thing. No, I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> <laughs> white, white people love Wu Tang. Oh, that is true. We love DMX too. Yeah, yeah no, 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 that's the thing. Dude, yeah, in DMX this, they tried to, awesome. dude. They tried to genuinely make. They took that one part. <laughs> DMX. <laughs> they tried to make D- DMX, who is a master of ceremonies at this point. Like it, he controlled a stadium. I'm not even saying with the N word thing. Yeah. With his whole performance, it's like right. I've seen DMX live. He's very magnetic. He, no. I saw him at Toast Place. Staffa, for, for the audience, can you tell them what they had the white people say? Oh, yeah. So DMX <laughs> was on stage, and then he was just like, bah, 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 my nigga, and then prompted them, right? No, yeah, no. He prompted them, so that's what you're going to say. It's uh, a to song. To say my nigga. Yeah. It, it, to sing along. And when DMX talks, people listen. You don't, he's so a fake dude. I think, I think the problem was, instead of like all the white people responding, my nigga, Everyone in the crowd said my nigger. <laughs> they did. No, 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 no. That would not be I, good. No, no, no. <laughs> That's what I heard. No. <laughs> so I, co- I completely understand. Oh, man, Fucking Ross Yeah, just all them, all them, just like my nigger. No, and no, no, Max no, no. got off stage. He was like, I can't believe them honkies. <laughs> no, I was I, with I, him. <laughs> I, I just, it was funny how they were trying to be like, look at this man do this song and be a master of this audience. And look at them all go along with it. It's like, he's the fucking man. He's, they're just saying the things he said that okay, he told us to say. Dude, this is 99. I'm pretty sure... When did it... What's... I'm pretty sure It's Dark and Hell is Hot is like, this is it. This is like DMX in, in his prime. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. man. Yeah. And they're trying to be like, how does this happen? It's like, dude, yeah. you, you, you're literally going from yeah. all these people embrace DMX to then... All these people embraced Limp Bizkit. And it's like, what are you fucking... Yo, can't my, you tell? You it's know just what I'm going to do? If I could just do one crime. crazy festival? If I could oh. do one crime, I would just... Every single Wait, person. Beside. No, every single person from, from this documentary I just run up to. I got my gun in my hand. I pull it up on them. And I say, say it. And they're like, what? <laughs> I'm like, say it. Ma... And then oh, they're just like, no, I like, won't. Uh, and then I blow their brains out for not saying my nigga. Yes. <laughs> and then that's just my fucking that that will keep them up at night. Kill that's Whitey, it. dude. I don't care. You <laughs> Whitey. Uh, it's, I'm, te- I, I, I'm white, but I'm not white. Well, you're I'm Italian. Like, does Italian, is, does Italian count as white? Have. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I, I think it does. I grew up thinking, I, honestly, when people were like Jews when I was younger, I was yeah. like, aren't those just like other white people? Because where we're from, oh. they are more. They look like me. They yeah. do. They look like me. I look like a Jew. I'm sorry. Whatever. Fucking. So I thought every, they're white. And it no, turns sorry, out they're I'm not. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I, I look like a heave sometimes. Dude, that's how I knew. Uh, side of point, I knew, dude. People hate, dude. I do what? <laughs> I do real talk, dude. Real talk. You didn't catch what happened. I missed something. 
<laughs> Are you spewed? <laughs> no. What? Fuck you guys. Look, I, I, people who were genuinely racist in like my high school thought I was Jewish and would treat me as so. And oh, would say you got that treatment, shit. man. Dude, I had people say crazy shit to me. Your and I'm last like, name is Thomas. You don't Sally, look dude. that Jewish. Dude, that, they would say you look Italian Jewish, Jew, though, and I'd be like, I'm not. And they just, dude, they would Did let. Did you have the beard back then? No. Dude, maybe, no. Oh. They would let shit fly, dude. I, they would throw coins at me and shit. Oh my I can God. say that. This is the wildest <laughs> I, story. I had some crazy shit. It's it, insane bullying. And, and, and I'm like, I'm not even Jewish. <laughs> it is insane. Dude, I feel like that. So would, I get it. But. That would be such a great origin story to end up hating Jews, though. <laughs> like, you would be every single day. <laughs> oh, how did you guys let it get this bad? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, I'm not Jewish. I'm going to show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because, like, uh, like on my mom's side, I'm completely Armenian, like hundred percent Armenian, hundred percent Armenian. So I was like, I'm not fucking white. And then, like, I didn't, I never knew what my dad's side was. Uh, so and Irish. and uh, no, uh, oh, no. When so, you don't know what your dad's side is, that's the whitest. Shit. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, you're actually so. So my sister did one of those like mm. ancestry tests, at, and she found out that on my dad's side we're like Nordic, and yeah. it was like that's as fucking white as it yeah, gets. Is it? You're a Viking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whitest of the whites. This story. Ugh, sorry. I, we're fucking so white that we enslaved white people. <laughs> 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 oh man, dude, that was good, Jake. Oh, that was that was good. All right, you guys. Um, I got some articles we can get into. I love those pretty, articles. Pretty silly. The third one made me laugh so fucking hard. I almost crashed my car. Yeah. yeah. So, so, while you're doing that, I'm actually, I'm gonna go take another pee. Go break. ahead, dude. But, yeah, keep going. Keep going. I, I just know, wanted we'll go, to we'll, announce it. We'll so actually that get into the article when you come back, so that right. we'll just no. you have Jake's you. Jake's gonna drain the main vein. Actually, um, yeah, we'll let Jake. Yeah. Do you guys have anything to plug? We'll just do plugs in the plug? right yeah. Go ahead. Oh, oh, hey, oh um, Stop is going to be hosting the Hell Elbow yeah. Room. I'm hosting the show. April 14th. April 14th. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? That's what I thought. April 14th. April. Jesus August Christ, 14th. you're right. But it's August. August. I've been drinking August. I got my A months fucked up. <laughs> no, but it's 27th. August 14th. What are you talking about? That's what I told you. Yeah. No, you said 27th. No, no, no I said 14th. 14th. I swear to God. I said, so Italian. I was, yeah, it wasn't on the podcast. It was, Enticing entertainment. We you that part out. <laughs> yeah, he said he offered you a August spot before 14th, on yeah. August fourteenth. August fourteenth. You, you you busy that night? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pull it back. Oh yeah, my bad. I thought you were talking about the other show I'm doing at Elbow. What? You're yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're trying to do a thing right now, no, aren't no, you? No, 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 <laughs> trying to get more no, spots. No, 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 Real talk. I thought you were talking about something completely. He's Where are you guys it. going? What, what, what? Everybody's got Two of the people podcast. Oh, you're checking your schedule. I'm right. checking your schedule. God damn it. All right, look, guys. Right. Uh, follow me at Yes Offense Official or Yes Offense Podcast on Instagram. Follow me at my personal thing at Silly Selly. Follow no, this we podcast. Book the room out on the 27th. That's why. Oh. Huh? We got to book the room out. Oh, oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's true. Right. So follow me at um, Silly Selly on Instagram. Um, I got a bunch of shows coming up. I have a show uh, August fourteenth at Parkville Market. Uh, that's a Saturday coming up. It's in a few weeks from now. Actually, it's in like two weeks. Two weeks from now, it, or it, when this comes out, it'll be around two weeks. And then I got that show. Yeah, you're gonna the, be opening it, for Kevin Downey Jr. Man, yes, that's a big deal. The guy from America's Got Talent. Oh hell yeah, August twenty first. And, 21st. Uh, and uh, looking forward to that. TLC and Fox News. He's very crazy. He's fun. Awesome. Wait, then, what fucking show was he on? Fox News. Oh, he's on Fox News all the time. Yeah, he's on uh, Wild. Yeah. Oh, we'll Kevin get along. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Right. Not. And then I got a show at Bears Barbecue Smokehouse in New Haven, August 26th. This is a Thursday night. Got a bunch of uh, two comics from NYC coming out, and Ms. Conduct is oh, hosting. I love Ms. Conduct. Who doesn't, dude? Yeah. One of the best mm -hmm. hosts or comedian ladies out there. What do you want? Comedian in general. Yeah. She fine. I was looking at something else. She fine. Yeah. Shouts out to Ms. Damn! Conduct. Sluts! Anyway. You know I love the She's cool. Food. She know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You got anything to plug, guys? In the middle? I'm no, sorry. I completely derailed the plug. You did. Plug. You <laughs> I did. I got so confused. I want to we'll plug, plug these like cinnamon buns you yeah, made. Yeah, you made cinnamon buns, good. Man. They're Pillsbury, but yeah. I don't give a shit. No, don't give a shit. Well, good, you're man. welcome, guys. We've been drinking. You got anything, Johnny, your podcast? Beer Man Beer Podcast, man. Check it out. It's on all the uh, same places you can find Sully's podcast. Yeah, right? Spotify, iTunes, That's and it, you know. YouTube. And we're nominated for an award. Hopefully, uh, we don't lose to another uh, uh, Connecticut news a channel. NPR bullshit. Shit, yeah. you know? That would be tragic. 
I don't know. Just... Okay. So, before you went to the bathroom, Jake, I found this article this week. It's hilarious. It says, not just another high school prank. Connecticut teen faces several charges ever after hacking into school's database to misattribute, quote, to George Floyd in the yearbook. And he ch- switched it out with a Hitler quote. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this kid is wow. wild. That is, what was the quote? He submitted the quote. It, it, dude, and that's the thing. It You really had to know that it, they really had to research this to catch it. Because it's, 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 it is quite, the quote is, it is quite, it is a quite special secret pl- privilege how the people around us fail to realize what is happening to them. The worst part is somebody like they found out the kid off of a racist. I know thought. that's what I'm saying. There's no way they, someone did. somebody read the quote that the kid made and they said that nigga George Floyd ain't say this shit. <laughs> 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 or, or better yet, you're like I I recognize that from my. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, He's like, like, what are the other? Great, you know, I remember my grandfather saying something like this <laughs> when I was in his basement and I found that lockbox full of medals that he hid, and I, I was like, huh, this reminds me. <laughs> no, it just it's a fucking. It, uh, it was just an insane. Never seen. Right, now look at the look guy. Look, look at the, the kid's. Mu- this kid looks right. just h- hilarious. Wow. Dude. <laughs> now, what, what uh, are you saying? What do you think is this? Is, by the way, everyone, this is on he the. Looks kind of Puerto Rican. This is on the Atlanta Black yeah. Star. Anyone wants to look How up? How old that is thing. the kid that the guy is? He's eighteen. So okay. Okay. Yeah, I think he looks seven, a little like maybe half Asian, half something else, maybe. Yeah. But uh, shout out to him. Can't, no. can't, can't, can't blame can't. Whitey on this one. Friend no, of the I, I was friend of the podcast. I was gonna say he looks half Asian, <laughs> half Kurt Cobain. <laughs> yeah, dude, he does. Yo, he looks so silly. And that's the thing, yo. It's just I don't know. It's it's just funny that that, that the trolling is that deep. Where he picked he picked a he was like they're never gonna get this Hitler quote. Fuck them, dude. <laughs> they're never gonna like catch this shit. Giving a quote to George Floyd is so wild though. It's and, like, Nobody heard him talk before. Oh, yeah. It's not like and, he was a famous guy yeah, and, uh, with quotes. And Glastonbury, what the fuck are you doing to about George Floyd and shit? Like, who, <laughs> who in Glastonbury is relating to George Floyd <laughs> in that high school? He's like, man, when I leave school and I go to my parents' pool, I just think about how the cops could kill me. Like, no, I, I it doesn't happen. what the kid was really think, like, what his excuse it was in, like, the I mean, office. I know oh, what it's like to troll. be... I know yeah. what it's like to be black. DMX made me yeah. say the N-word. <laughs> Honey, when we were younger, we saw DMX and we said some things. <laughs> he, Ma! Had, <laughs> <laughs> he was showing like the like the teachers and everything, the video too. And he's like, see, no, 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 just wait, just wait. George Floyd <laughs> says it in the video. It's right here at minute 450. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you might not hear it when he shifts his knee, but you hear no. you can hear it. I swear to God. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? Why do you can't make that joke? <laughs> All right. Why do you... I thought about it and I was like, you know what? No, I can't do it. You hear that bouncing in the background? That stuff hitting his knee because no, he's no, laughing. Bro, I'm doing it for the brotherhood real quick. I'm the brotherhood. You know what I'm Shout saying? out to James he's Seymour. Fucking... He's the man. Devils. Oh, what else yeah. we got in here? Um. Stuff. I'm sure you heard about this one. Um, the baby. Oh, <laughs> quality story right here. The baby. You guys know who the baby is? Yeah, he sings with uh, Dua Lipa, right? Oh. <laughs> wow. I know my <laughs> shit. Huh? For, Dude, I'm pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're good. Hell yeah, we're hitting some. Dua Lipa really. Good 360s on this. No. She canceled that. I, you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to pretend I didn't know who he was until about a month ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. The baby is probably the he's one of the big hip hop stars right yeah. now. Arguably, the baby's wild. Right? Yeah, that's guy, guy has, uh, is there the baby and another baby too? Does yeah, there's little, baby. there's little baby, there's little baby, little, and there's, the baby. There's yep. little baby, little baby. There's ba- the baby. There's a lot. Is there a big baby? I don't know. There's, there's, baby, there's boy. big baby Davis. He played <laughs> for the Celtics back <laughs> in the day. It, it's so weird, like watching rappers through time and seeing their names become like more and more just. Childish. Like, yeah. yeah. The Lils. I want to see a list of it. There's got to be a poster. You know, there's like the poster of all the movies and like quotes. There's got to be a poster of just all the Lils out there. R- R- right. Because like it started off with a guy. Well, I mean, it started off before this, but like the the like pinnacle of hip hop was guys like DMX, Jay Z, and then it was just like Eminem, and then now it's like I'm the baby. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just. Don't you like, dare disrespect all no, white star. 
Eminem on this podcast. I'm just oh, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Larry Bird of rap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's actually a pretty, yeah. pretty, uh, pretty uh, I'll give it to it's you. It's pretty one to one, you yeah. know? Yeah. He is yeah, he is the one it, Larry Bird is the one white guy in Dirk. Yeah, there's the one guy. guy yeah, but Larry Bird's a well, he's a he's a tier he's above known, Dirk. Yeah. He's, he's, a like a, yeah. he's the white legend like, of the NBA. Larry Bird should, like should get more respect than he does. It's like a little bonkers, you know. He gets less respect. Which white guys like, are allowed to have a picture of themselves at the black barber shop? Ooh, if in Boston, I feel like Larry Bird definitely yeah. some black barber shops they got him. There. All that over, makes just, sense. Just, 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 just clear. Just Clinton? <laughs> I, I ain't fucking with Clinton. <laughs> Rick Flair. I'm trying to think of Flair. You can't. I mean, I'd, I'd be going to a Dominican barber shop, so it's different over there. Uh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. they ain't even. Daddy Yankee. <laughs> they, I mean. No, I don't know. Just, I always go Daddy Yankee with the Latino or whatever. D- Dominicans are a mix, right? Dominican, well, they're, they're still oh, spit. They're Latino. <laughs> they're like, they just learned they were black like two years ago. You know, like, it was like a big argument for so long where Dominicans would just be like, I'm not black, I'm Dominican. We feel. And then, like, they, hell yeah. Yeah, they. Uh, oh, and this one. I always do that. It, 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 I always have. I haven't done it yet because I. I've, get ready. This is I haven't double. wanted it's to get stabbed by one of them for real. But like, if a if a girl if a Puerto Rican chick is ever acting up at a show and I'm like, excuse me, miss, can you quiet down? You're acting real Dominican right now to see what happens. <laughs> Woo! I'm ready to get stabbed. Has it happened? No, I'm waiting. Because No, honestly, uh, white chicks are kind of the only ones who talk during shows and that's really it. Really? Unless, unless you're bombing, then, you know, everyone nah, else black can talk. Yeah, be yeah, different. We can't, we can't just... You yeah. can get some shit out of black you're, yeah, bro. If you're not funny, then they turn you, on you. you know, that's well, the thing. They, I'm going to say this. I love performing for black rooms because, like, when you're funny, they actually fucking laugh. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, white rooms, it's just like... It's you have a bunch to of, break them down. It, yeah. It's just a white woman, bunch of white women going, that's so funny. <laughs> that, that's literally <laughs> all you get, bro. I love performing Dude, in black rooms because if you're funny, they let you know. We had Dude, t- I, I would want to do more time in a black... Like, if I got to do seven minutes and I'm like, all right, the first three minutes I got to burn on making these people like me. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta talk about the room, yep. all the shit that happened. Yo, them niggas talking in the back. Like every single thing you gotta mention, and then you get to your jokes. You gotta win them yeah. over. Anyway, so the baby, yeah, uh, he did not win over this crowd. Apparently, he said a bunch of shit about uh, if you if you didn't show up today with AIDS or HIV and some shit. He said some crazy whatever. He, he was like, yo, I, if you wasn't in the back parking lot sucking dick, dick, make some noise. <laughs> yeah. and niggas made noise. He's like, if you don't got all them crazy if you diseases, ain't, no, he like, said if you ain't sucking dick. So yeah, he said, yeah. He basically ain't. said, and they said you're home. Like, what? I don't know. It's rap. Oh, it's just shit going on outside. It's just rap. I don't know. This is not the craziest thing I've heard a rapper say. I yeah, I mean, he also in that same concert brought up Tory Lanez, who shot Meg the Stallion. <laughs> so it's like, dude, it's insane. <laughs> They're skipping over so much shit, and then they had, like. There's literally people saying, like, Chris Brown said something about it, and people are like, I can't believe I'm agreeing with Chris Brown. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, <laughs> it's like, you're... Chris Brown knows his bottom line. I, isn't that, dude, like, yeah, isn't, how about... No, baby is wallet. D- he you is. Don't, don't I'm, not, that. I'm not agreeing <laughs> with him. I'm just saying, like, the amount of people trying to pile on and be like, I can't believe some homophobic shit we say at a hip-hop concert. Are you be- fucking serious? Hold on, hold on. I can't believe DaBaby said this. The rapper who killed a man at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> All his songs are about just, like, f- debauchery, too. It's like, this dude is literally like, I fucked a bitch, and he's literally like, I fucked your bitch, and I fucked your mother. It's literally <laughs> shit like that. You don't have a problem with that. It's like, what, do you, what the fuck do you, you expect this dude to be doing on his free time? You know, it's, it's really funny because it kind of paints the picture of, like, where our culture is at now, too, because... Um, nobody wants to like listen to Chris Brown on this because we want to paint everyone as like one thing, right? Yeah. Like you fuck up one time and it's like, oh, you're always a fuck up. Well, though, they're trying to side with, they're trying to say like, there's a lot of people out there being like, wow, I can't even believe I'm agreeing with Chris well, Brown. It's like, dude, it, that's what I'm saying. Who yeah. cares about Chris Brown's opinion on it's this? Like, yeah, Chris Brown beats women, but he's never been homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have this oh, track. Fuck out of We've here. known Chris Brown for so long. I haven't heard him say one slur. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. Yeah, I don't know. It's like that. Like you can be know. right about some things and then very, very wrong. These are the same think. people who literally <laughs> that's, that's were like, okay. "R.I.P. DMX, a legend has died." And this dude literally said in the song, "Like I don't fuck with homo thugs." <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, yo! Nah. You're so backwards about this shit. Yeah, I, but when he did it, it was art. Yeah, <laughs> man. It, it's just, it, I don't know, man. It's hip hop. That's sh- they they say crazy shit. I don't. I don't know. No, you know what? 
because the the baby didn't do it would. in a song. Like the baby no, no, didn't no, say I, some random home. Like he like oh uh, like he went a little on the deep. No, no, he, he should did. be going in. But these heads are just so like don't feign surprise. Yeah, like, what, right. you're that's getting more mad what I mean. at you're the right. baby. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. You like let's all let's all take this down a notch. Yeah, right? like, like look first look at his art of work. Like what do you expect? Come on, man. Like, yeah, what the fuck is going on? Here? We do this weird thing where we take like artists and musicians and we try to paint them as like paragons of virtue. Well, like yeah, you're no, you're fucking not. Like, it's nobody like all likes rappers. Those dudes. It's like the baby is not Lil Baby. Lil oh. Baby, great guy. He got that lyric, I won't fuck if she don't let me. That is a beautiful <laughs> <laughs> that is you know a what gentleman. I mean? that's, yeah, that's the yin mm. and the yang. You know, you get the baby, he says homophobic stuff. Lil Baby, he teaches you about consent in his music. <laughs> I got I'm I don't know which baby's which. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Call me a relic, call me blanks. what you will. <laughs> Yo, it's wild that Johnny Benson like knew who he was in the beginning of the conversation, but got lost I in told, the conversation. I'm gone. I'm Jay- gone. I don't know which baby's which. I don't the baby, little baby, big baby, big semi baby. baby. I don't know. I don't baby know. Huey. That's it. Yeah, I'm yeah, lost. It was just silly. I I, I don't know. I, I'm sick of the fucking like. It, I don't know. I, I I know he said fucked up shit, but it's like do, again. Look at the fucking body of work. I don't know. Dude, it's like the same. That's the problem. Is whenever someone says fucked up shit, it makes the news. That's a problem. Yeah, I don't get yeah. it. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, yeah, it, you know? news. You know what else was the funniest news I've read in a long time? Like I, I genuinely laughed when I read this shit in my car. There was a rumor <laughs> going around that Lizzo killed someone by stage <laughs> diving on them. Did I post well, that? Yeah, I think I got it from you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Yo. that is the funniest shit, and they, she had to respond. That's the best part. That's, That's so. Funny. How was the response? Was it was the response funny? Oh, she, I think she sp- she did a TikTok about it. That like. <sighs> That's, she that's says sad. she doesn't even do that, right? She doesn't even stage dive. Thank God. Yeah, she Which, couldn't. I mean, I mean let's like, be real. if it were me, I'd be like, fuck yeah, I killed the dude. I, j- I made the Jimmy Snooka fingers, and then I jumped off the stage and I just killed a motherfucker. <laughs> like, yeah. that's the only way to respond to that. Yeah. Dead ass. I would, I would, what's it called? I would uh, just come back with a fake ear. Oh, yeah, like right, ear. I'm like, this is the guy. A lot of that annoying I things about me on the internet. But the thing. The bothers me the most is this rumor that I stage dived at a concert and killed somebody. <laughs> like that rumor, it's a fly. First of all, I've never stage dived in my life. Yeah. And bitch, hold up, hold up, how, pause that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill somebody, yeah, she just stated the obvious. Put- that hold up, hold up. She was like, first of all, that's a lie. I've never stage dived in my life. Thank God. Like, she's basically saying, I understand. Like, if I actually was routinely stage (laughs) dived. Yeah, someone's going to die. It does make sense, but I don't stage dive in the first place. It's going to be a mess if she jumps off the stage. I'd fucking stage dive. I don't care. I'm 320 pounds. I'd fucking stage dive on people. That's that's like half a Lizzo, right? Yeah, dude. You're going to fuck somebody up. Oh, bust. Kill somebody? Y'all really gonna put that on my motherfucking name? <laughs> like, I know I'm big, but bitch, I'm not that fucking big. Tell Lizzo. Tell Lizzo. Yo, Lizzo is the best. She rules. Yeah, she rules. Do you ever see her play the flute? No. Yeah, she yeah. fucking wails on a flute like Eddie Van Halen plays guitar. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Lizzo is probably the reason I fucked a fat chick when her music came out. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's like her music came out and I was just listening that to it. That was her inspiration. Is that not her inspiration. It was so like pumped out into the mainstream that like I was like ah what it is what it is if it's you cute. say that like you've only done one yeah, I, I, I no, kind of think you've done more than one come I've on. done more than one but it was like yeah. it affirmed it it was yeah, like come on. it was like cool then and I was like it is cool <laughs> it's all nothing wrong with a little extra not at all but she made it cool the the funny <laughs> thing is, so stop the, really come on come on stop come on come the on. funny thing is if you Google Lizzo's weight. Uh, you know, the, like, there's, <laughs> why is that that's a thing you've been doing about? this whole time? <laughs> so, so, so there's a website that comes on. It's it's starsgab.com. It's one of those like uh, things when you Google. There's the whole bunch of questions, and you hit the down drop. It says uh, Lizzo stands at the height of five feet six inches tall, and she weighs around 141 pounds. Yeah. Oh. Like bullshit. That is not true. That is not true. 100. You know percent that is an Indian website. <laughs> <laughs> it's just they're using oh. stones. They're using, they're using kilograms. Where's Google? Where's 
No, no. <laughs> Yo, you're a fucking retard. <laughs> <I just said. laughs> nah, man. She's not 114 pounds. That's no, awesome. that's all right. Awesome. Man, nothing wrong with nothing wrong. I no, there is. She, yeah, she rules. Wrong, though. I actually do like Lizzo. I just thought that was the funniest. Room. Like that's hila- it's hilarious that people trolled enough that it became a thing. Like you killed someone, yo, and it didn't make news. Like people were still like not happening. <laughs> it's like yo. Just there's cover like people, it up. It, it's so ma- like sad that there's people that are so mean to her that it ruins the people that just want to make fun of her. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Like, like, like Lizzo goes outside to the Lakers game. You're like, ha, that's funny. Like everyone getting mad at it. But then there's motherfuckers that's like, Lizzo, you going outside? Well, I'm gonna fucking kill you, bitch. <laughs> you fucking fat bitch. Wow. Like, yo, chill. <laughs> like, let, the, let her live. Honestly, that, that reads like one of those rumors that you would hear when you were in elementary school before the internet was a thing. We're like, my uncle. Uncle works for WWF, and the Ultimate Warrior died, and the guy who they have is a replacement. Like, like it sounds like one of like those. Like the bullshit. Sierra is a man one. <laughs> ah. Y'all, you remember that? Yeah. You remember that? No, Williams? I know. I knew there was the Williams? there was the whole no, like Lady no. Gaga has a penis thing mm. for a while. That was a big thing too. Yeah. Sierra. Yo, oh no, Sierra. Sierra. Yeah, yeah. About when Lady Bow Wow her dating. bro. Because it'd be tragic whenever Dude. you would hear that. You'd be like, Sierra's a man. And you're like, but she's hot. Yeah. You know, right. so you'd just be like, whoa, I'm scared. Yeah. No, Sierra's not hot. She's not a man. Yeah. And, she's, <laughs> and she just never was a man. Yeah. <laughs> so on, on the Lady Gaga one, my, my sister used to hang out with gay dudes all the time when like, yeah. she was in high school. And she would go to like, they would all go to New York City. And they would go to like those weird gay like dungeon clubs. And Ooh. Lady Gaga used to perform at those and she was telling me that like they used to like just make fun of her and they would convince her to just like strip naked and sing on stage and she would do it and they'd all just make fun of her for doing it so when they when they were like oh yeah lady gaga has a penis i knew she didn't (laughs) (laughs) wow that's a deep cut (laughs) we learned so much about lady Gaga. i wasn't expecting that do you guys know anyone out there she's also on the sopranos Check it out. Really? She? Yeah, she's uh when Meadow has the party, the kid overdoses I've as she's never at, watched an episode of that. Well, whoa, never. You get the listen. It's a great as an show. Italian, I'm gonna tell you to get the fuck out of my right. apartment. Right. Tell you what, talk <laughs> shit about me while I take a piss. <laughs> no, that is a great show. Okay, man. Man. I, I I'm gonna watch it while Johnny Benson pisses. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long it'll be. Shout out to the Sopranos. These blacks. Yeah, I love the Sopranos. Nah, she she's um one of the chicks in the party that Meadow's at at one point. But yeah. Lady Gaga, icon. I, I was actually driving around with a trainee over the weekend. Uh, Did you say a trainee or a tranny? No, a trainee. Okay. I was driving around with a trainee. Oh, okay, okay. Train, like, I was training a guy at my job, and he was playing like old 2000s shit, and I forgot how like many songs Lady Gaga had. So good shit. I don't care how that bow, comes off. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Great song. Kitty Cuddy. Yeah. It's about but fucking her face. <laughs> Kitty Cuddy uh, sampled it. The I original's still a great song. Yeah, no, she rules. Oh, that yeah, that is a good. Pop, what was pop, the pop, song pop, she pop, did pop, where pop, like Christopher Walken pop. did like the like he did a video with the lyrics? Was uh, it Poker Face? I don't remember. Can't read my can't read my <laughs> no. You I, can't read my Poker oh, Face. That's <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> that's probably it. Yeah, I love Christopher Walken. So well. do I. I get shit for doing that impression, but I don't give a shit. Who cares? Nah, yeah, it's, it people is give you shit packed, for it? but who cares? Yeah, not so much anymore. You do it on a podcast. I don't give a fuck. So it's like it's one of those things where people like, well, everyone does a Christopher Walken yeah. impression, and no, they don't. They do an impression of Jay Moore doing a Christopher Walken mm. impression. Like, very few people actually do like a real Christopher Walken impression. I feel like I do. Maybe that's a little conceited, but like, <laughs> but you're not getting it from Jay Moore. That's what I hear. Right, right. Yeah. Like I hate, I honestly, I hate Jay Moore's impression. I think it's garbage. Uh. But I mean, not to, you know, not to shit on a guy who's far more successful. Yo, than Jay me, but... Moore, I catch you on the block. I'm going to beat your ass <laughs> so bad. You never doing a Jay Moore. I mean, uh, Christopher Walken again. Mm. No, those are, those, are, ass, those are fucking, those are, ass. Those are uh, Stops fries. Yeah, no, I, I heated them up, not tried bad. one. I wasn't with it. Mm. Yeah. Fuck it. Hey, you, guys, you, guys trying, you guys hungry after just trying to get some food? Hell yeah. yeah. Definitely. That's good. That's oh. something good. Good, good. All right, cool. Because I'm starving. We're All in right. New Haven. We got nah, food uh, in New Haven, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. It's Jake's birthday. We're going to take Jake off of... Oh, it's usually, your birthday? It was uh, a few days ago. Oh, hey, yeah. Happy birthday. Um, Thank you. I so usually... What are you, like 47? <laughs> 30, 36. Oh, that's tight. That's a good age. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We pretty much hit... Should we start a boy band? If you want. Do this, this crew? Uh, I'm with it. Yeah. 
Stops in the back. No, I'm just kidding. Cool. <laughs> I got, I'm singer. I'm lead singer. I, want yeah, I was going to say, you're probably the only one of us who can sing. Yeah, you go Thank out. you for being a friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Wait, so I uh, usually end I just because that's always a good... Is it over? I mean, if you want to keep going, we can keep going. Just cause We can. I just don't... How long have we been going? Hungry, we've been going I'm, I'm 48 minutes. That's not bad. No, 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 sure. no, 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 I usually do on right under well, an hour. Well, technically, we've been doing like 70 mm. minutes, but 48. Ah, I think really out. <laughs> Sorry, don't rub it in. Don't yeah. No, don't. Hon- oh. Honestly, I think it's. I think it made for a much more fun podcast. Have you guys, yeah. I had fun. I, I had hope you guys had fun. Well, let me ask, did we yes. offend enough? I'm sure. We, I, I wanted to make that sure. Is, I, I, everybody right. get the slurs we, out. That's the only thing we didn't actually go over again was your praise for the podcast. I want to go on a thing real quick. Yeah. This podcast is not meant to offend anyone. It's just a clever fucking name. Get over it, pussies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no. Not no, you. I'm not talking As long as the disclaimer's there. It, it is. The disclaimer's dude. great. Well, dude, I have that disclaimer because, dude, no, everyone looks back at South Park and is like, oh, it's it's great. They're great. And it's literally because not they're, they are great, but they also cover their tracks a lot of the great shit does cover their tracks so if you want to come and be like i can't believe you're saying this shit and it's it's like dude first of all in the description i tell you it's offensive i have a disclaimer i have a trigger warning or whatever yeah. and then i have before the podcast i have a fucking intro that says yo you, you don't have to listen don't listen I, w- I wanted to come on to be as offensive as i could you know no nah, you can't and you can't be i don't give a fuck <laughs> It's you. You're saying no, whatever I you want to say. I, I, the only I, person I, I offended was Trisha. Back. Yeah, I, I think I think you could. Sorry, have been Trisha. I love you. I think you could have been a lot more offensive. <laughs> no, we could. And I've yeah, I've yeah. No, we, it, it is what it is, man. I it's don't like know, honestly, I don't when, know you're, I when you're a genius like me, it's very hard to be <laughs> offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. No, no. I just don't know why people like. It, I don't know. It's I, like you know. I think a lot of. I think a lot of it too is how you present yourself. Like I yeah. feel like I've always been away, been able to get away with saying shit yeah. that was a little more. Well, you're obvious. huge, dude. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking. Who's gonna argue with you? I'm a you're the size there. of Andre the Giant. Come on. Yeah. It's also well. I don't know. It's intent too. Like. That's why a lot of these people who do go on stage and are like, I don't know why you guys say this thing. It's like because when you do stand up, you actually do it with the intent. You you have reasoning behind what you do. Yeah. We do it as jokes. Yo, it's yeah. like Selly's able to say certain things because he has black friends. <laughs> These blacks. <laughs> I guess no. It's oh, not an excuse, but I do have. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there, that's a good answer. That's another thing. People say like you're not. Too, no one said this to me because I'll I'll slam dunk them. But they they try to be like, oh, don't you worry about being called racist? I'm like, I'm not racist. It's that simple. Nah. That's that simple though. I don't. Nah. I live with a Somali and an Indian. They they would yeah. they would figure out if I'm racist or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, these racists. Racist. Right? Yeah. Like I'm cool. With, like all white people, they're born racist. They yeah. can't yeah. help themselves. Yeah. 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 And other. It's, 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 it's the Neanderthal yeah. blood. And you see? Other, <laughs> you see? You see? All right. I'm not clear something up. Yeah. Right now. And also, other races are never racist. So I want to know. Yeah. Who started Asians towards black? Oh yeah. Yep. Asians have never been racist towards anybody. Who started the rule? Rumor about raisins in the potato salad because that's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I've never that had is that. Bold. No I've white never person makes happen. potato salad with raisins yeah. in it. You guys are just fucking with us. And you know You're what? Fucking you know with what? Stafa. You know, you know what? That real. was in. Wasn't that in Get Out? And you know what? I think Who it was wasn't Get Out. <laughs> and you know what? Get out. Let's get to the bottom of this. Who started the slave trade in Africa? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sold your stuff. No, just, that always pops up on the road. That is the that. funniest thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Nah, man. Um, no, you guys, know. before we leave, um, what's the last... We'll start with Jake and we can go around. What's the last dope movie you watched, Jake, that you were like, I like this movie? Oh, my a God. A lot. Like, a lot. Oh, the first um, time you saw it recently. Oh, first movie you watched for the first time and recently then, uh, you liked it you're like I like this movie a lot god I, I, I we might have to come back to me Go, I can't. Johnny got I, I went to the movies twice in the last weeks oh, okay and one, yeah, just to specify this doesn't have to be a movie you've seen in theaters just a movie yeah. you saw well I, I watched recently, um, like, I like this shit a lot. I watched uh, Black Widow oh which I loved because mm. I love shit like the Marvel s- shit skinny girls going oh, through buildings and uh uh, crash, you know, she's so hot. Scott's yeah, she, she's I wasn't amazing. a big fan of that movie, but uh, no. yeah. I, I liked it. But then I watched what you guys were talking about on the previous episode. I watched uh, Space, Space Jam, Jam uh-huh. and it was fucking brutal. <laughs> yeah. And the kid sitting next to me, sneezing and sniffling the whole time, uh, scared the shit out of me. Delta, so. Delta. Yeah. Yeah. Delta. So I'll, be watching the, I'll, I'll be watching the movies at home from now on. But yeah, uh, I, I liked Space Jam at, at for the absurdity. 
Yeah, it was crazy. It was the, the little cool characters they added in. The, they had cool. the Clockwork Orange fun. guys in the background, yeah. but they got rid of Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. What's Warner Brothers without a horny skunk? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's also the they kept the guys in the then the, the, the we did on that. We got talked about it in the last podcast, but they literally kept actual movie characters who did rape instead you know of the you skunk that didn't. I don't rape. like the <laughs> argument though, because then they're going to just start getting rid of those characters too. I don't hate it. No, no, dude. I just hate incons. You know me. I hate inconsistency with people, and that, I can't stand it. So that's but it is what it is. What about you? Stop. You ever seen anything? Rush. Cool? I, I gotta watch that, dude. I, I like that Chris movie Hemsworth. a lot. I like that movie a lot. It was uh, the movie with the two motor? Is it, it is Chris uh, Hemsworth. It was, yeah, yeah. Yep. It was Chris Hemsworth and Guy some, Pierce. Is it Guy Pierce? No, 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 no. It's uh, he plays in like the Marvel. Ah, uh, he's like one of the early villains in Avengers. I think. Guy doesn't have any superpowers or anything. Um, do you know who he played? He came back for I think oh, uh, the Captain buddy, America show. All right, that's terrible. oh that's um, terrible. James Hunt, Nikki Lowe. Was it the, the guy who played? Um, oh, this oh, cast fuck, sucks. He's in a lot of. Stuff, oh, he's dude. fucking. God damn it! He's the dude. He's a. Uh, He's uh, he's no, no, he's on the Winter Soldier, he, Captain America that's Winter what I was Soldier. Saying, he's right? the bad Baron guy. Zemo. Yes, that's that guy. Baron yeah. Zemo, yeah. Beast. Daniel Brühl. He kills it. Yeah, Daniel Brühl. That guy kills it in Rush, man. He's fucking. Because afterwards, they. That's when you know a guy kills it when they just put the guy that they played at the end of the movie talk for a couple seconds. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like when they show the people and like they show a whole bunch of people, like you're like, oh, this guy fucking killed it. Yeah. Like that was a good movie. Man. You, you know, actually I, I thought I thought of mine now. Um what? it's actually it's not it's not a new movie. It's fine, neither was Rush. Rush it's, is yeah. like a few years old. Um What We Do in the Shadows. That movie rules, dude. That, I it, love I, that movie. So, so it was a movie that like when it was first coming out, um my wife had heard about it and she wanted to uh they they did like a Kickstarter for it. Mm. Um it's um Taika Waititi's first movie. Did you hear about this? Was, uh, you ever seen it? No. It was uh the guy from Flight of the Concords, Jermaine. Um, uh, they, oh they, yeah, yeah. They do. Uh, it's it's a movie about vampires if they lived in like modern day New Zealand, Ooh. and it's it's dry British humor, but it's, it's fucking so hysterical. Funny. It's so funny because they all live together, and it, 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 a, a film crew's filming like finds them and starts filming them, right? I, yeah, I just watched it. So so my wife actually wanted to do the Kickstarter. It ended up happening, but we never saw it. And then like it just this last year, we were like. Oh shit! This movie actually got made. Let's watch it's it. It's a show it's, too now. It's a show, and the show is fantastic. It's so good. Shows a great addition, dude. What we do in the shadows. If you like horror movies, or if you like vampire lore at all, this is like the funniest movie making fun of vampires. I, I'm, I shit it's, you not. It's so fucking. It's so goddamn funny. I'm a like, huge movie buff, and I gotta check out your podcast with Pete. Oh, so. Pete and yeah, no, Pete and Sally do good. the cinema. Also, check that one out, guys. The, yeah. the thing I liked about what we do in the shadows, it's literally like, I'm not spoiling anything. It's the first argument in the movie they have. They're all <laughs> sitting. He's like, we're having a roommate meeting and they all sit down and he's like, all right, uh, we have to talk about the dishes. And one of the vampires goes, I'm not doing the dishes. And the other one goes, why not? And he goes, because I'm a vampire. <laughs> it's, it's like, fuck yeah. It's so funny. It's like, of course. That's of course how that argument would go. I'm a fucking man. I'm not doing dishes, motherfucker. It's such a good movie, it's like, dude. We, we just leave the people yeah, when they die. We kill people. He argues that. He's like, I'm a vampire. I kill people. Like, what, what are we doing? What are you my, talking? It's so my, funny. My, but it's British and like, you know, a lot drier. But that argument, I was like, yeah, like, of course. Like, it's such a good movie. My dude. favorite scene it. in the movie is like they, they get like a dinner party together and they start like hypnotizing people. So they give one like a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> it's just like a can of like pre-made Chef Boyardee spaghetti. And, and uh, you know, one of the vampires, he calls it biscotti. He's like, would you like some biscotti? And and he makes them think it's worms he's eating. And then there's another guy he just hypnotizes into thinking his snake is a dick. Or his dick is a snake. I'm sorry. I've, I've had more beers than I thought I did. <laughs> no, the thing is, the first one's 4.7. This one's eight point five. You know what? That sneaks up on you. You know, and, and before silly. this, Johnny and I hit up a brewery yeah, and we yeah. had like a shit ton of beer. That's so what I'm, we do. I'm kind of fucking gone. Beer, <laughs> beer. Beer. This is a fun one. <laughs> beer man, beer. That's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, we'll do plugs real quick again. I might just cut that part out yeah, in the center. Sense. Um, fucking. What do you guys? You guys got anything to plug? Stuff. Yo, August fourteenth. Right. Yeah, you're gonna be I'm at about to be elbow. hosting elbow. And Howie Mason is closing. Hell yeah. I'll fuck with Howie Mason. Shout out to Howie Mason. Fellow white guy. 
Anything <laughs> else, stuff? Oh, yeah, 27th. <laughs> I think I'm putting together a showcase album Friday night. I'll be there. I'll be there. Yep. That's uh, it. Yeah, check out the Beer Man Beer Podcast on all your podcast platforms. And uh, uh, I'll be at the Elbow Room, I guess. I'm kind of in charge, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sully had a big show there last night, and uh, I think I might go check out Potatoes tonight. And there's uh, Kevin Downey Jr. is going to be there, and big August show with Howie Mason. Sully's going to be there, too. So all kinds of shows. Saturday nights, Friday nights, always comedy. At West Hartford. West Hartford. Okay. It's the best Hartford. Well, you Jake Yanni shows. I mean, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the tag partner on the Elbow Room oh, stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, Jake uh, usually hosts the Elbow Room Thursday night in West Hartford, and he's a fun host. If anyone out there wants to do or come do stand up go check that shit out it's always a good room um i have a it's just coming yeah i have a show august 14th at parkville market in hartford it starts at 7 30 i believe come out to that guys um got jonathan tilson headlining that that's gonna be a fun one and then august 20 first i'm gonna show on the elbow room with yes. kevin downey jr, kevin downey jr. Be and then august 26th i am at Bears in New Haven. Uh, it's a Thursday night. I got comics from New York coming out, and Misconduct is hosting that shit. It's going to be a fun one. Oh, guys. hell yeah. Mahoney hey, and who else? Mahoney and Jamil Fame. Yo, funny-ass dudes, man. Funny-ass funny dudes. They funny. I'm really excited for that one. I, yeah, I'm just hoping it's Thursday night. That shit, that's the, that's the one to go to. Yeah, slide I was about to say, yo, if, anyone, if anyone's house. listening to this and yeah. definitely wants to come, you have that Thursday night off, please come. That will be a fun show. Park was Anthony Market. Vega pull up to that one? I yeah. know you're listening. <laughs> Parkville Market will be fun too. It's just I'm really not worried about that one because the market kind of sells itself. So I'm also not saying don't come, but they're all every comedian on these shows is fire. So come on out, guys. Hell yeah. For real. Um, Follow me at Yes Offense. Uh, podcast on uh instagram follow me at silly Sally on instagram and follow the pod share it subscribe it tell your friends about it it's on spotify itunes and youtube and also check out my other podcast i do with pete angelo it's called pete and Sally do the cinema that's on spotify yeah. you guys good we good we good man we're good yeah i think What's we're good hell yeah let's go eat guys thanks for coming Food. <laughs>